to roll the dice. By chance they came on devil's game, and gosh, they paid the price. Paid the price. And now they're fighting for their lives on a mission fraught with dread. And if they proceed but don't succeed, Devil will take their heads. Hi, Borkers, it's me, JD, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are playing Cuphead, finally. Basically, you are seeing it up front in person. It's based off of 1930s cartoons. And, well, from what I hear, it's hard as nails. How hard? We'll see the story and we'll go on. From what I understand, this is all about the story of how... Well... Two individuals have a deal with the devil. But, other chaos. Uh, let's just see what happens at that point. Start her up. Here we go. Once upon a time, in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mugman. They lived without a care under the watchful eye of the wise Albert Kettle. One day, the two boys wandered far from home, and, despite the Elder Kettle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the Devil's Casino. Inside, Cuphead and Mugman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the craps table. Hot dog, exclaimed King Dice, the casino's sleazy manager. These fellas can't lose. Nice run, boys, laughed a newcomer. The brothers gasped. It was the casino's owner, the devil himself. Now how about we raise the stakes, he suggested with a toothy grin. With one more roll, and all the loot in my casino is yours, the devil boomed. But if you lose, win one more roll, and all loot in my casino is yours, the devil boomed. But if you lose, I'll have your souls. Deal? Cuphead, blinded by easy riches, nodded and grabbed the dice for a throw. Good gosh, Cuphead, no! cried Mugman, for he understood the danger. But it was too late. Snake eyes, laughed the devil while slamming the floor. You lose! The brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now, about those souls! The brothers pleaded for their very lives. There must be another way to repay you, Mugman stammered. Yes, please, mister, Cuphead added. Hmm. Perhaps there is, the devil snickered, pulling out a parchment. I have here a list of my runaway debtors. Collect their souls for me, and I just might pardon you two mugs. Now get going, the devil roared, picking the boys out most rudely. You have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of those souls. Otherwise, I'll be the one collecting yours. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mug! Can't Cuphead. We have to find the Elder Kettle. He'll know what to do. To be honest, though, this is meant to be a multiplayer game, so... <laughs> but I have no intentions to play with friends at this time. What a fine pickle you boys have gotten yourselves into. I know you don't want to be pawns of the devil, but if you refuse, I can't bear to imagine your fates. You must play along for now. Collect those contracts. And you'd best be ready for some nasty business. Your debtor friends won't be very friendly once you confront them. In fact, I expect they'll transform into terrible beasts. Take this potion so they won't hang you out to dry. It will give you the most remarkable magical abilities. Now go to my writing desk and use the mystical inkwell there. You'll need to prepare yourself for a scrap. 
Now, before I do this, I really have to turn the volume down on this thing. Alright. Let's jump right into the tutorial. Alright, I think I got, that, got this down pat. Let's just get right into it. So where are we starting first? What do we got so far? We got shot A, which is the pea shooter. Standard issue weapon, long range with average damage. What do we got for the list? Alright, so we got a couple of worlds to go. We'll start things off over here. Hey, fellas. Look like you're in for it now, eh? Well, I used to be the same way. Always getting into trouble. Running, jumping, shooting. But now I prefer just strolling around and going to the pictures. But hey, let me give you a hand. Take this. Three gold coins! Yay! Hey guys, good to see you again. Hope those coins helped out a bit. Maybe check with other folks around here. They might help you too. The ones not trying to kill you, I mean. Like over here in the shop. Pork Rinds Emporium. Here we go. He said, welcome. <laughs> so we got. Great coverage with average damage. Aim backward for maximum range. You will not take damage during a dash. A great defense maneuver. Short range with great damage if you can keep close to your target. Adds an additional hit point but lightly weakens your attack power. Oh, wow. Or long range with below average damage. No aiming required. Done. Goodbye. You gots to equip those new purchases if you want to use them. Look at your equip card, you bums. So let's do this. Haha. -ha. So now I have two things equipped. Just to see so when I show you, we got the pea shooter and then the chaser. So what is it now? We got this guy to deal with. Forest Follies. We'll come back to that one. Hang on. Let's see if. Alright, so I got it. I'm just gonna go jump. I'm just gonna jump right into Forest Follies. Oh, wait, is there anything over here that I, that we can go through? Uh Oh, we snuck behind. I hate to tell you this, but if you don't know about this, then you're you're gonna be in for a real treat once you do. Anyway, on to Forest Follies. Run and gun! Now go! So basically this whole idea is just run it and shoot the enemies as they as they spawn. Supposedly. Whoa, jeez. I'm surprised I could tech actually avoid all the enemy attacks as I go, but of course I didn't avoid a lot of them. Oh, jeez. No, oh, God. Nowhere to run, nowhere to go. This forest is your foe. You're up. I really don't need the need the chaser yet. Well, only when I need like only when I'm on like a boss battle or something, then I then I'd be able to do it. Come on. Hey, I'm getting better with the parries, though. But come on. Jump up. Oh, God. 
Failed to parry that one. Now get up here. Yeah. Come on. Come on. You're kidding me right now. And die dead. This one's honestly much better as... If, if it were me, I would say this is much better with friends. But me being alone and having no friends just means, yeah, this is going to be a terrible time for me. Oh, God. Yeah, very horrible time. Wow. W walked right into that one. I walked right into that one. Oh, my God. Do I have to hold it to, to, to jump higher? Wow, I can't hold it to jump higher? How sad. How am I not parrying that? This game really takes a lot of focus uh, on a personal standpoint, if you ask me. I mean, I'm doing this blind. Imagine how worse it could, could have been for for other people that have played this game already. I mean, I'm already late to the party as it is. I'm aware of that. Yeah! God of the Acorn Maker. Oh, God! What? Oh. Those blue things. Duh. Ah, oh, good God. This is gonna take a while, isn't it? Ah, oh, again. The key to parrying that is to just time it well. Having to hold A down does not give you a parry, at, at least from observer's perspective, at least from this perspective. How am I supposed to time that jump? Ah. <sighs> Again! Those fucking acorns. Wow. Here goes. Ugh. Again with these stupid blue things. What in the hell? Alright, try this again. Again! It's pretty much guaranteed at this point that we're going to have to deal with losing at least one HP this level just because of that stupid hey, no. jump that I have to that I have to that I have trouble timing. That's just it. Again. Okay, I'm done. Not playing this game. Kidding. All right, you can see how much of the struggles I've been I'm getting on this game, and yeah, not easy. So yeah, I'm just gonna stop here on Cuphead for now, relieve some stress. I am quick to quick to get stressed out on some games like this, and a break can be helpful in that. And hopefully, when I get back onto it next time we see each other, I'll have a better mood on it, and hopefully, maybe either a friend or someone or something else that can help me out. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, leave a like, post your comment, share this video with your friends. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one. See you next time, everyone!